students so the last topic of the chapter reproduction in plants is agriculture now what is agriculture when the plants are grown on a large scale this is known as agriculture or farming now when the plants are grown what are the use of these plants they are fulfilling our needs they are fulfilling our needs of food and several other needs so the plants are grown on a large scale this is known as agriculture or farming the plants which are grown for food purpose they are known as crops now there are two different types of crops they are rabi crops and the khari crops now rabi crops they are grown in november and to they are grown from november to april for example they are beet barley they are known as rabi crops they are grown in winters now khari crops they are grown from july to october for example millet rice and paddy they are grown in rainy season so these are the two different types of crops that are grown in india these are two, two different crop patterns that we follow in india now what all conditions that farmer farmers must ensure to ensure a healthy crop production they must ensure that proper irrigation is done in the fields seeds they are using for production must be healthy and ripe they must uh, remove the unwanted plant that is weeding must be done properly irrigation is must and when the plants they start producing new plants they come out they should protect the plants by spraying insecticides or pesticides so as to protect them from insects and all after that when these uh, crops are harvested they should be stored properly so that they may not get rotten up now let us conclude that what all topics or what all things we covered in this chapter so in this chapter we discussed about reproduction in plants plants reproduce through seeds vegetative parts like roots stems leaves which is also known as vegetative propagation and plants also reproduce through spores we studied about the structure of seed we studied about the germination the process in which a plant grows from a seed into a new plant then we discussed about the dispersal what are the different modes of dispersal or what are the various agents for dispersal in plants then we discussed about the vegetative propagation by different parts of the plants and we also discussed about agriculture and the different types of crops that we that are grown in india so i hope you all understood what all we have discussed thank you and have a nice day